Liz McLarnon has sung in front of thousands of people, but she's never used an oven in her life. The amount of times I've tried to cook and the um, fire alarm's gone off, I just don't... I don't want to do that on telly. <laughs> what sort of cook are you, Liz? I think my food tastes OK, but it, it doesn't really look that good, usually. I'm not the best at using ovens. I'm, I'm all right with the whole hob thing. What? I'm always using hobs. I don't really use ovens very well. What, what's so scary about that when you put something in, it cooks, you take it out again? I know. I don't know. I am, like, phenomenally nervous. Just two minutes. Walk away from your plate, time is up. Experimental cook Julia has made stir-fried calamari with cashew nuts and honey-coated bean sprouts. Wow. <laughs> it's bitter from the salt from all the um, soy that's gone in there. It's sweet from the honey. I've got to say, it's been a really, really long time since I've... I've tasted anything quite as bad as that. Excellent. <laughs> Oops. You've gone from honey crunch to, to soy sauce with a little bit of burn in the middle. It's, it's weird. It's weird. Will her main course of fried duck on a bed of chilli and ginger make a better impression? It's too much soy. Mm. Really, really salty. The idea of those cashew nuts in there with the chilies, absolutely right. But there's too many flavours for the normal, conventional person to eat. There's got to be some lessons learned from this. Don't attempt what you don't know how to do. Despite his self-doubt, Michael is hoping to win over the judges with his Chinese-style stir-fried duck. Best of luck. All the juices have come together to make a stir-fry. The duck's a bit tough, but it's actually quite sweet. The texture and the flavour sensations are in no way unpleasant. So stop writing yourself off. We'll be the judge of that. Right. Well, thank you very much. Will his dessert of strawberries with mascarpone and cashew nuts go down as well? It's a bowl of strawberries with some cashew nuts and some mascarpone on top. Yep. I think it is a straight cop-out. That is a cop-out. You know it's a cop-out. Give us a little bit more effort, Michael. Novice cook Liz has produced a starter of deep-fried calamari. Uh, good. I'm really pleased. Really? Yeah, I'm really pleased. You made a batter, you put it in the oil, that's fine, but you had a pan full of olive oil. Yeah. Olive oil won't deep-fry, it's too dense. So you need vegetable oil in there. You were almost there, weren't you? Yeah. Imagine if you'd have picked up the right bottle of oil <laughs> for a minute, because that's all that would have taken. Yeah. Will Liz get it right with her main course of duck breast with stir-fried mushrooms and bean sprouts? Your duck is cooked perfectly. Whether well, that's by fault or by chance, I'm not <laughs> quite sure. Your vegetables are really delicious. And they go together really nice with the duck. You are the most inexperienced cook of the three, but all in all, it's a decent flavoured meal. Now, we've got to figure out how on earth this is happening. You might be all right. <laughs> <laughs> 